Hey there, fellow firearm fanatics. Today we're diving headfirst into the heart of SHOT Show 2024. And let me tell you, the pistols we've got on the menu are absolute game changers. Ready for a sneak peek? Let's jump right in. Billed as the next generation Cabot 1911, the Insurrection is Cabot Gun's first double stack M1911 style handgun, chambered in 9mm Luger and compatible with all STI magazines currently on the market. The design elevates Cabot's class leading build quality to the popular double stack format, giving M1911 fans extra capacity along with the company's highly regarded aesthetic and functional touches. Feature rich and with plenty of customization options available, the Insurrection includes a 5 inch match grade hand fitted stainless steel barrel with fluted hood cuts, Cabot's proprietary Advantage Extractor, a stainless steel slide with window cuts, 3.5 pound trigger, ledge rear sight, and fiber optic front sight, and optional barrel porting. The frame also includes a Picatinny accessory rail. Additionally, for a $1,095 upcharge, the slide will be cut for optics and equipped with a Trijicon SRO red dot sight. The pistol ships with two 17-round magazines and 20-round magazines are also available. The price for this bad boy starts at $5,995. Revolvers don't change much, but when Diamondback created the 357 Magnum SDR, they went big with it. Using a 2-inch barrel with a 45-degree target crowned muzzle, the SBR is crafted from forged stainless steel. A double-action, single-action revolver with an exposed spur hammer, it has low-profile fiber optic sights and a streamlined push-button cylinder release. The overall styling and push-button cylinder release evoke the Kimber K6 series and help keep the width down to 1.38 inches over the cylinder itself. MSRP of the new Diamondback SDR is a very lucky $777. This 9mm semi-automatic tactical pistol is designed to be the ultimate mission-ready firearm. The Live Free Armory aluminum match-grade pistol was designed by a team of engineers, competitive shooters, and law enforcement with the purpose of developing the ultimate mission-ready pistol that they would depend their own life on. The fire control unit is precision CNC machined out of heat-treated 416 stainless steel. This design allows for the rails to be machined perfectly to reduce any unnecessary play seen in many traditional firearms. The skeletonized 1911 angled grip frame allows for custom and aftermarket grip panels to modify for an intuitive and reliable grip. The amp slide is machined with step quad windows and deeper serrations on the slide to enhance grip reduce weight, and improve cycling speed. The slide comes standard with an RMR optic cut to directly mount a sight without cumbersome plates or adapters. The match-grade nitrided fluted barrel is honed, burnished to an 8-micron finish, and rifle cut for unparalleled accuracy. The trigger, barrel, slide, sights, and most internals are Glock compatible, whether it be giving you the next competitive edge on the field or the security you need for home defense, the amp is ready for any mission. There's officially a new Glock model on the market that's largely a response to hacks Glock fans and concealed carriers have been making for years. People have been modding the more compact Glock 19 grip to work with a full-sized and full barrel of a Glock 17 and use 15-round G19 mags for years now. That essentially is what the new Glock 49 is. The result of its full-size slide compact frame is a pistol with an overall length of 7.95 inches with a 4.49 inch barrel and a height of 5.04 inches, yielding a longer barrel and sight radius with a grip that's easier to conceal. It weighs 22.4 ounces. Magazine capacity is 15 rounds using standard Glock 19 size magazines and models with 10 round magazines are available for those who live in areas with magazine capacity restrictions. Why do people want this? Well, the part that you worry about printing on a concealed carry pistol isn't a long slide but a big grip. And many people consider the G19 the perfectly sized handgun. But a longer slide and barrel are advantageous for accuracy and squeezing all the performance possible from a 9mm defense round. The Glock 49 Moss Tallow Edition has an MSRP of $745. Springfield Armory has refreshed the popular TRP line of professional level 1911s with a wide range of new features. Each pistol begins with a forged frame and slide for strength and durability. Each pair is hand selected for slide to frame fit and numbered to marry them with their matching components throughout the build process. 
The result is a premium fit with refined blending and rock-solid performance. Providing an additional touch of custom detail, all TRP pistols feature sighting plane serrations along the top of the slide. Also on top of the slide is a Tritium 3-dot sight system for a clear sight picture under any lighting environment. The 645 ACP models are made up of two classic models, two rail models, and two carry contour models. The classic pistols are offered in 5-inch and 4.25-inch versions, with both featuring all-steel construction as well as two-piece magazine welds. The rail models are offered in black or coyote brown finishes. These are both 5-inch all-steel guns with two-piece magazine wells and a Picatinny rail on the dust cover for adding lights, lasers, or other accessories. The final two carry contour feature 4.25-inch barrels along with a bobbed lightweight aluminum frame for ease of concealment. These two variants, which do not feature extended magazine wells, are also offered in black or coyote brown. What's better than a Judge? A Judge with a dot on it. The Judge is without a doubt the most popular 410 revolver, and adding a red dot to it just enhances its capabilities. All variants of Taurus Toro line of Judge revolvers is chambered for 410 bore 45 long Colt. The only distinction between them is that the standard Judge Toro accepts 2.5 inch 410 shot shells while the Judge Toro Magnum can accept 3-inch shells. As Toro models, all four variants are optics-ready and can mount red dots that feature a Holosome K-Series or Shield RMSC footprint. The rest of the revolver's features are identical to those to their non-optics-ready counterparts. Based on the proven Walther PDP pistol, but with the addition of a precision machine steel frame and other new features, the PDP match steel frame significantly tames recoil delivering full smoothness in every shot. The core of the Walther PDP match steel frame is a precision machined all steel frame that's built to endure the harshest conditions, with the weight to significantly tame recoil and delivering a smooth, precise shot. In addition to the steel frame, there's Walther's dynamic performance trigger for a smooth and consistent trigger pull. The grip panels are removable and replaceable by the user, and the front and rear of the frame has Walther's performance duty texture for a secure non-slip hold in almost any condition. The optics-ready design of the PDP match steel frame uses the Walther plate mounting system so you can customize your sighting system, and there are serrations at the front and rear of the skeletonized slide for an improved grip during gun manipulations. The extended magazine well and aluminum base pads work together to streamline magazine changes. The PDP steel match ships with two 20-round and one 18-round magazine, and there's an option for 10-round magazines for states with magazine restrictions. MSRP for the Walther PDP match steel frame 9mm pistol is $1,899. One of the best handguns to come out in some time, the fourth iteration of the Smith & Wesson Spec Series is based on the company's M and P9 metal chassis. Upgraded features integrated into this Performance Center Spec Series pistol include a 4.8-inch threaded barrel with attached Paxson-designed compensator to mitigate felt recoil and muzzle rise, along with optics-ready slide with aggressive serrations and lightning cuts to reduce weight and improve reliability while being compensated. Additionally, there's an enhanced sear for a lighter, crisp trigger let-off, suppressor height sights, and OD green Cerakote finish. The Smith & Wesson Performance Center M&P9 Metal M2.0 Spec Series ships in a custom hard case and includes two 23-round magazines, two 17-round magazines, core plate system for mounting optics, a carambit-style knife, and custom M&P Spec Series challenge coin. The next generation of M17 and M18 is here, delivering all the performance and reliability that made the M17 and M18 the choice of the U.S. military now outfitted with the most advanced X-Series features. The M17X and M18X pistols each include a factory-mounted Romeo M17 red dot optic featuring a ruggedized aluminum housing, a spirit glass lens for zero distortion, and is fully enclosed and sealed for ultimate protection from the elements. This pistol also features an X-Series Coyote tan grip module with extended beaver tail, aggressive grip stripling, and deeper undercuts for greater control. The X-Series grip module is also fitted with a magwell extension for faster and more accurate reloads. Finally, an X-Series flat blade trigger provides another welcome upgrade. Few things in life inspire as much fun and joy as a well-made 22 blaster, and this range machine looks primed to get you ready for match day. 
Built for the range, the SIG P322 Comp brings all the features of a competition-ready full-size pistol, but chambered in 22 LR. There's a factory-installed Romo Zero Elite Red Dot Optic and a 4-inch long barrel made from carbon steel, which is equipped with a two-port compensator. On the polymer grip module is an extended magazine catch, adjustable trigger shoe, sport takedown lever, 1913 rail, and integrated magazine well. The single-action only hammer-fired action on the P322 Comp is completely enclosed in a two-tone competition alloy slide with front, rear, and top cocking serrations, a high-visibility fiber-optic front sight, and an ambidextrous slide-mounted racker. Two triggers, flat and curved, are also included. As for the frame, it's made from stainless steel. The P320 Comp ships with both a 20-round and 25-round magazine.